Do you know that when Steve Jobs released the original iPhone, he set Apple and the entire smartphone industry around him with the ultimate goal, the Mount Everest of smartphone design. And here it is. Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. Make one giant screen, a single slab of glass, no obstructions, no border or notch or button, nothing between you and every damn pixel on that screen. That was the vision that he had for the iPhone, except the first one still had big black borders called bezels and if you look at the evolution over time the bezels have got systematically thinner but even the latest iphone 14 has borders around and also that crazy trick that apple played on us when they took a bug and turned it into a feature called the dynamic island but with the iphone 15 it's almost reaching the summit of its Mount Everest, taking the crown for the thinnest bezel or border ever. Only if you believe the rumors though. Now, you might be thinking that other smartphones from Chinese companies like Xiaomi or Oppo or even Asus and OnePlus have eliminated the notch completely with an underscreen camera. And isn't that better than the iPhone, which has a black notch or cutout that they call the dynamic island, which houses the front-facing camera along with a load of other sensors? You might be surprised to hear this, but the answer is no. Before I tell you why, I'd love to go on the journey of discussing tech and how to live a happy and successful life with you. So please do hit that subscribe button and keep me motivated to stay up late at night making more of these videos. Back to why the answer is no. The reason is camera quality. The problem is that light needs to pass through the gaps between the pixels, so effectively trying to shoot through a tight mesh screen. The competitors who've tried this are getting better, but their cameras just don't match up. Just try out an Oppo front-facing camera and you'll know what I'm talking about. Hence, most of the industry is back to camera cutouts on the screen. Some, like Samsung, are trying to make these as least visible as possible with tiny round cutouts that disappear at many angles. Apple, on the other hand, has decided not only to accept but totally own it and wear it on their sleeve. The front notch of the iPhone has a lot more than just the camera and houses the proximity sensor, the speed the light sensor etc and trust Apple to go against the industry and not try to make it smaller but in fact make it bigger. Hence the dynamic island that puts a shape and color changing pill size cutout around to suit the situation. Trust Apple to find a way to take a bug and make it a feature but by the way as per 9 to 5 Mac it looks like Apple is still working on a way to make the underscreen camera work without compromising quality. But let's see if they're really able to do it by 2024. So, in the meanwhile, for the more realistic near term, there's no getting rid of the notch or the pill cut out if you want a good front facing camera. Whether you go the small circle way like Samsung or the full blown way or opinion on your chest way that Apple has gone with the dynamic island. So the only other thing that they can work on are the borders or the bezels and man are they planning to smash it. Here's what the new iPhone 15 should look like and man that looks pretty darn good. You can barely make out that there's a border on this thing at all. If the rumors are true, they will take the crown for the smartphone with the thinnest bezels from the Xiaomi 13. It doesn't seem to have come without its share of problems though. As per the website, the information, the iPhone 15 might end up being delayed by a whole month because of these displays, which use something called LiPo or low injection pressure molding. Challenge was with these super thin bezel displays from LG which were failing reliability tests so they had to change the design. Apple does apparently have some backup stock from Samsung displays but not enough to actually launch. Let's hope that that's not true and the iPhone launches on plan mid-September at the next Apple event. There are so many exciting rumored features like a full titanium body much like the Apple Watch Ultra and if my Ultra is anything to go by the body will become insanely durable. It's also supposed to have a drastic improved camera with between 5 and 10x of optical zoom versus the 3x that you get right now. It'll move to USB-C instead of lightning so you can finally stop being that one person looking for a lightning cable in a sea of USB-Cs and be more green with fewer chargers in your house. Finally, it'll have a new action button just like the Apple Watch Ultra that you can customize for any action that you like. So if you're thinking of buying the 14 or the 14 Pro, I'd wait a couple of months for the 15 or at least to be able to get the same 14 at a reduced price. What do you think of the these features on the iPhone 15. Do let me know in the comments and maybe you should check out my review of the Apple Watch Ultra or the MacBook M2 Air. See you there.